go be great. Every one of us is worthy. Every one of us is worthy. Every one of us is worthy. Hi, beautiful beings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So, today's video is basically. I need some chapstick. Hold on. I like the way that feels. Yep. This video is going to be about a few things that I do to help me improve my emotional and mental health. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click that button. And if you have, I appreciate you so much. I can talk about self-care and self-love and how I do me all day. But I won't. Because you got shit to do. So I'm just going to give you the basics, the gist of everything that I do. I do this every day, kind of sort of like a routine. Most definitely like my routine. I've noticed women, um, black women especially, we need to develop and maintain healthy relationships within ourselves because for some strange odd reason, it's so hard to treat yourself as you would another being. Our bodies are difficult spaces to occupy. Think about all the bodyisms and then the colorisms and then the hairisms, uh, sexisms. You just gotta think about all the isms. The isms overcloud your thoughts and then you start being confused, very mean and aggressive and just nasty to yourselves. Done, period. Like, something's gotta give. Go ahead and just jump right into it. Let's just get this thing rolling. One of the most difficult things I've had to learn to do is be selective with my time. I'm learning how to take the time for me, take as much time for me. My routine has grown so much that one hour I thought I needed to myself a day has now turned to an hour and a half and then two hours and then maybe two hours and a half or hell maybe a whole damn day it's just it just depends on how i feel that that includes the people that i'm around um what i watch on tv what i listen to what i let my energy around and what i let my energy absorb i'm if i am not feeling the situation if i'm not feeling what i need to feel from an environment I will leave. Nice to meet you. I will go. Obviously, what I'm around is not serving me. It's not serving my energy. It's not serving my purpose. Ew, I'm obviously not enjoying myself. So why am I here? I guess tip number one: learn to be selective with your time. Tip number two: it will be piggybacking off of tip number one in the sense of just making time for yourself. Whatever you think, something that makes you feel like you're being selfish, but it makes you happy. If it makes you feel like you're being selfish, but you're doing it for yourself and only for yourself, then that is okay because you're being selfish with your time. That will always be okay in my book. I love spending time with my tarot cards. That's that makes me feel good to know and to trust my intuition just walk with clarity and knowing that i know nothing at all meditating my tarot cards learning about new crystals hell seeing what little packages and bundles i can find online about crystals journaling is something that i do but i'm gonna save that one for a little later and when i'm by myself and i'm practicing what i practice or i'm learning what i'm learning it it just it makes me feel alive it gets me Tip number three, simply put, sip some tea. Y'all do it anyway, why not physically sip some tea? Y'all sip tea every day. Y'all sip gossip and nonsense and just, y'all sip that nasty tea. Y'all over there sipping nasty tea. Sip some good, wholesome, herbal tea. 
sit there early yes there i have my favorite types of tea but i'm willing to try all types of tea because i know what i like but do i really know what i like because i know nothing you can go as deep as when you're cooling down your hot tea each breath that you blow into your tea is a new intention there's so much joy and bliss in sipping tea you can make sipping tea something new and rejuvenating not that nasty nasty hoo-ha y'all be tipping so tip number three from me would be to sip some tea sip some tea some good some good herbal tea herbal <laughs> some good herbal tea and of course tip number four would be to journal journaling is a great way to be mean and nasty and happy and vulnerable and calm and excited and rejuvenated and weak and sincere and vulnerable and angry and creative and nasty and encouraging and um, disappointing and sad and hurt upset and no one is around to judge you you can release everything you want to release you can write for pages and pages to express you you get to express how you're feeling without anyone telling you that you're okay or you're being too emotional or you're being too dramatic you're not humbling yourself enough it's a way for you to just get out everything that you want and not feel guilty or embarrassed or judged. Like who likes to be judged when they're just trying to, to release? And this is an unhealthy way to release. Hell, I do it. I do it every day. And <laughs> look at me now. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe and click that notification bell. Also, why not um, follow, follow, follow me and connect with me on my social medias. Peace. Go be great. What are you still doing? What are you still doing?